Here we have our Triumph Stag once again. As you can notice, it's a slightly different colour. What we've done is from the usual grey primer, we flattened it back and then we gave it a nice coat of blue tinted primer. And the reason behind this very quickly is just because it gives you a much better coverage with your paint and also you get a much better shine and luster as well. So what we've done is been around the whole car with the, the blue primer and the little black marks that you can see is just ID coat and what I mean by ID coat is you put this on and then when you use your wet and dry and in this case it will be 1200 wet and dry you know exactly how far to take it before you go through the primer so as you can see we've done everything once again engine bay included all your little edges they're all blue and this gives us a really good coverage to work with so that once we have wet and dried it we'll be straight away ready for paint we'll just degrease the whole thing wash it down and it'll be straight in the booth for your first coat of blue as you can see we uh, we spent quite a lot of time making sure this car was absolutely straight I'll see if I can get this for you here, if you look at the lines on this car there's not a dint, a scratch or any blemish at all so as you can, as you can imagine when we do actually wet and dry this car down to 1200 level it will be so smooth, you'll, or you'll already have a shine on the car even when it's wet and dried so here we go. Next stage is paint.